in this episode of This Old Outboard. So, looks like I'm gonna be redoing this damn well, thing. Well, I actually survived jury duty today. All right, there it is. Time to get a little fishing in. It's this old outboard, baby. Let's go. I uh, took some small nails, poked them up through the bottom to find my screw holes. Put the trolling motor down, work this edge, run around this corner, see what's going on, see if we can pick anything up. Yeah, she ready to go, <laughs> baby. There he is, man, okay. Nice back, baby. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad at all. The new deck. Yeah, baby, there he is. Oh, we got another one on. A little tiny speck. And I brought down the little generator and the wet vac and cleaned her all up. Get ready to go tomorrow, all day on the water. Gonna fish all day. Go home now and get my rods. Rigged up. If I get this fish in on this rod, it'll be a miracle. Absolute miracle. Not huge, but he weighs a few pounds and chunky. Ooh, he's pretty, baby. He's pretty. Nice fish. Now get out of here. Digging on the new deck. Looks pretty good. I kind of like the other one the, the way I did the other one better. One of them was bigger than the other one, so I don't know which one I got. But they both jumped at the same time. He dies. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> this should hold up for a while. I'm not going to worry too much about All it. All right, so yesterday, got the deck finished up. And... Uh, the rain came just like they predicted and this is what it's been all day today. All night, all day, rain, when rain, When I walk rain, down, rain. you can see, man, it's flooded. When it rains, it turns into a swamp down here. Uh, the wind is still howling and the boat still floating. <laughs> Take a quick look, make sure the bilge pump is pumping. Damn, man. There shouldn't be that much damn water in there. See, you know, the thing won't kick on.
until it hits a certain level. See, that's the problem too, is all that shit gets stuck in there. Boy, I tell you what, it pumps it out fast though. Oh, paint's still on there. Oh damn, it's all bubbled up, look at it's it. It's always something, baby. Always something. I painted this little shelf. It looks good. I painted it with the same paint and some brown that I had and did like a wood grain, you know, tone to it. So, looks like I'm going to be redoing this damn thing. This is bone dry and this is so wet. Strange. Peeling right off. Look at that. <laughs> Shit. I wonder if it's because the finish on here. They, they put a stain on this backside. I'm sure of that. But, man, all that damn work. Look at my sticky ain't sticking. <laughs> Is my carpet? Yeah, my carpet's sticking, but it won't stick it's for long. It's gonna come off. It's gonna peel. And it's probably like that all under here. All right, I'm up on my neighbor's house. His RV. You see that palm tree right over there? The boat is parked right in front of that palm tree. And I just live right there, baby. <laughs> anyway, I'm up here. I'm going to redo his roof and uh, clean it up, wash it up, reseal it. And the whole RV needs to be cleaned up. And uh, when that's all done, whoa, I'm going to paint the deck down. So here. here's what's shaking bacon. Uh, he saw how the rain the paint wasn't dry the rain bubbled up all my paint i ran to my storage unit to get my pressure washer to do the rv and uh what i'm going to do is is take the pressure washer and try to knock all this paint and off. that was my problem when i put this paint on here I, you know in the back of my brain i kept thinking probably need to sand that so that paint has something to stick to pretty sure when they built that table, they put a little, you know, there's definitely stain on here. That stuff doesn't come that color. It's damn shame. Pain in the butt. I should have seen All it. All right, let's see what we got up here. Yeah, baby, she looking good. Ready for a new coat. You see all these cracks. So anyway, I'm going to get the rest of this thing finished before the rain comes. And today is Tuesday. And tomorrow is Wednesday. And guess what I get to do? Oh, boy. <laughs> Freaking jury, son, man. I pressure son. wash this deck. I'm trying to get everything done before the rain comes. All right. Well, I actually survived jury duty today it was a half hour early sat there for three and a half hours they made an, an announcement that they probably weren't going to need us today and sent us all home i was out of there at 11 o'clock all right baby just got done second coat looking good well it dried up pretty quick I had it out in the sun sitting up anyway that pressure washer gave it a pretty good beating mostly on this side so I think I'm just gonna carpet the whole thing but before I do I'm going to put some of this stuff on there rubber roof coating this stuff is 75.99 a gallon all right so i've got this thing coated put two coats of the uh roof rubber coating anyway, this on thing's it. gonna be pretty much uh waterproof so almost there i'm just gonna recover this whole thing I've got three coats of the waterproof roof, rubber roof coating on here. This 
of stuff right here. You got the uh, best crap you can buy here. Plus, this will help waterproof it. So I'm just coming right along the edge with the scissors, trimming it off. And do a little evening up on my anything that I thought I messed up, like right there. This is what I thought I was using the last time on that blue paint, but it turned out to be bad. So let me open this up, see if it's any good. Like I said, this this is exterior paint made for all surfaces. to make it seal real well. So like I said, I'm just going right under the lip of the carpet, actually trying to touch the carpet. Right under that lip to form a seal. Right, so these kind of came out a little bit crappy, but you know, if I could find some type of a cap to put on there, I will. Even just a freaking bottle cap or something. Plastic bottle cap. All right, that don't look too shabby. All right, there it is. Heck is finished. <laughs> Roof is done. Everything's done. Looking good. Wee. channel